Hey YouTube, God bless you. This is Pastor Nate. Preferably this video finds you in good health, in good spirits. Real quickly, you saw the title. It says, Help. I'm surrounded by negativity. And I have my notes here because I want to make sure I stay on course and, you know, just make sure I follow my points here. Um, we hear this all the time that I'm in a negative environment. I'm around negative people. And those negative people and negative environments have an effect on me. That's why I'm negative. Well, friend, I got a message for you today that you probably haven't heard. I don't know. Um, I think, first of all, in order to experience positivity, uh, it first starts with you. Mm. Um, as you know, my previous videos, I mainly focus on taking responsibility and changing the atmosphere. If you look at a video I uh, created a couple weeks ago, it said, let there be light, which means that we should uh, be grateful that God has allowed us to go into a dark place to shine our light. Um, light is better illuminated when there's darkness. So by the same token, when we're dealing with the negative environment, I think being positive, if we want to experience a positive space in place, it first starts, it first start with us. I think we have the ability to change that and to shift the atmosphere. So if, hopefully this is help to you today, my brother and my sister, because I hear this all the time. I'm around negative people. I'm just so negative because they're just pulling me down and uh, you know, because we vibe off each other. I do understand that. But don't let them affect you. Instead, turn it around. You become positive. Change your outlook of things and affect them. God has given you the power. God has given you the ability to influence others who are around you. Now, here's an example in Scripture. Proverbs 18, 24 says, he who has friends, hear me, friend, good. Mm. He who has friends must first show himself or herself friendly. So if you want to attract friends, you first got to be friendly. So that lets me know right there that people vibe off us, right? They feed off of our personality. So we have the ability to change the mood in our space. So no longer I should be able to hear you say that I'm negative because they're, you know, I'm negative. They're pulling me down. Or my spirits aren't up because of the environment I, I'm in. You have the power to change your environment. Here's a case in point. I remember a situation in South Dallas. We had uh, just come from the Salvation Army ministering. We volunteer there on every second Friday of the month. And... Uh, me and the pastor and uh, another minister and his wife, we went out to eat to a place in Dallas. In fact, we went out to eat some oxtails. Oh, those oxtails were good. This was like Jamaican oxtails. So those of you from Dallas, you probably know what I'm talking about over in Dallas. This is this Jamaican lady. Uh, I think it's jerk or whatever, but the oxtails were, make, were made Jamaican style and they were delicious. But anyways, while we were in line waiting on our food or waiting to order our food, this lady was in line and she was she just had a bad attitude. Uh, she was talking loud. She was cussing and cursing and using all type of profanity. And I was talking to a pastor and, and I just I didn't I wasn't real loud, but I said it loud enough so she can hear. I say, oh, my God, didn't God move in the service tonight? God is so good. I mean, the worship was awesome. The people were blessed. The people received the word of the Lord. People came up to get prayer and, you know, their needs were met. God was just in the place. My God, y'all know how I am. So I said that while she was doing all that. And, you know, she kind of calmed it down. After I said that, she just maybe she got embarrassed or maybe she said, oh, I need to respect these people because these are men of God or women of God. But whatever the reason was, we were able to change and shift that atmosphere. That young lady was negative. She was loud and rambunctious and and really speaking a lot of profanity and a lot of vile things out of her mouth. But when I lifted the name of Jesus, 
good God friend, you hear me. That atmosphere shifted. Ooh, good God, it shifted. Yes, it did. So friend, you have no excuse about being negative. You have to be positive so you can change the atmosphere in your surroundings. <laughs> yeah, so next time you people are negative around you and they're saying what they don't have and how broke they are and how sick they are, just say, God gave us another day. When, when they speak to you and they say, how are you doing today? And they may say, well, I'm not doing so well. You just say, you know what? I'm just glad to be alive and well. You know, God gave me another day and I'm glad to be here. Friend, that may change. Now, will everybody... Will everybody be affected? Probably not. But you'll find out that a lot of people will change. That atmosphere will change when you change. So it first starts with it first start with us. We always got to take responsibility. Help. I'm surrounded by negative. Hopefully that helped you this morning, friend. In the meantime, in between time, be at peace and not in pieces. Till next time, my friend.